Hey everybody, thanks for watching Cheap Date! My name is Guido, and I like to take cheap games, usually on sale under $5 or something, and play them, wine and dine them, uh, take them out for a night on the town. And hey, if they impress me, maybe they'll get a second date, because that's how dating works. And this week, we're doing 3D Ultra Mini Golf Adventures Deluxe. Uh, it's a mini golf game. Um, let's so let's take a look at it. All right, we'll just pick this course. Put in Guido. Okay. Oh, we get to pick a character. Oh, this is Hector. Skull on his shirt, skinny jeans. He actually comes from a rich family, I assume. Um, he's probably acting out a little bit because he's been spoon-fed things his whole life. So he kind of wants to to show it to his parents that he's different. He's not gonna live their life, the life that they want him to live. He's gonna do what he pleases. All right, Hector, first hole here. You ready for it? Looks pretty straightforward. Uh, well, I, well, it's literally straightforward. You just hit the ball straight. Uh, there's a scorpion block in the hole, though, it looks like. So let's uh, give it a shot, you know? Hector, prove your parents wrong. You know, they wanted him to join the lacrosse team, but he joined the mini golf team to show him that he's the best. I'll put about, about a half heat on it. See what happens. Dink. Oh, right in the gate. Right in the pig pen. And now we'll just put it, we'll tap right in the hole. There it is. Par. All right. He's sassy. Did you just see that? Hector's a little sassy. He, he might be acting out on his parents because he's got a little uh, sexuality identity issue here that he needs to work out. You know, he should get that, uh, you know, figure it out. Go take some time for himself. Figure out, you know, what's going on with his sexuality. He might see Joe walking down the hall, see his baggy jeans, and, and think, man, I, I kind of like that dude, you know? He's not as attracted to, to Katie as he was, was originally. That's a nice shot, Hector. Oh my gosh. Come on, pop in the hole. Oh, this is going to bring me down to par if I get it in. There it is. Graveyard shift. Got it. Eagle. Alright, let's give uh, Rosie a chance here to show what she's got. Let's pick her ball. Uh... Yeah, she's uh, pretty spicy, so we'll do red because uh, she's hot. She's got a hot temperament. There seems to be some sort of thing over there if I could get it in, but I'm afraid it's just going to roll down this hill all the way. Or this... Oh, yep, there it goes. Nuts. Oh, well, it's not a bad shot, Rosie. You, you did good. You know, you got to really handle Rosie with baby gloves uh, because... She, uh, she's got a temperament, like I said. Uh, a lot of people like to speculate on what caused her temperament, but I know the real reason. You know, she, uh, has been dating a gangbanger for the past three months. Yep. And life has been getting a little hectic. And she's, you know, lower middle class. Um, and she just found out she was pregnant. Yeah. She can't even get it up a little thing. She's too preoccupied with the baby inside of her tummy, is what I think is going on here. Oh, get in the hole. This is a rough one, Rosie. You know, you need to get your life in order. You know, don't give me that attitude either. You know, maybe talk to your guidance counselor about the way things are headed. All right, Joe. Show us what you're made of. I mean, sports are your thing. You're going to have to be the, the anchor of this team, okay? We got a lot riding on this. 21. Come on, that's your favorite number. Let's see what you got. All right, Joe, you're in your favorite spot, the carnival. This is where you can get your mind right, focus on the game. There's uh, your, f your favorite fire breathing fat dude over there. Uh, there's roller coaster noises without a roller coaster actually being here. 
so that might just be in your head, Joe. Come on, focus! Alright, let's get it past these ducks. First shot. Here we go. Oh, quack, quack. Oh, he's got the ramp hole. This is Joe's hardest hole. He comes here and practices this hole. Just this hole for hours on end to get it right. No one really knows why Joe loves mini golf as much as he does. Um, he's had a lot of issues in the past. Oh, it went down the wrong hole, Joe. Uh, he's been in various special ed type classes. Uh, he's dyslexic. Um, he's slow. He's, he used to beat up on nerds, but like he became friends with uh, Hector, who was kind of a nerd at the time. And Hector showed him the way that uh, he should uh, act around him. Hector's very, very nice to him. So he's always... Uh, been friends with Hector ever since. Uh, he likes Hector, but he's really got his eyes on Kate. All right, it's Kate, popular girl, the cheerleader, but hiding a secret. Her parents are getting divorced. Only her best friend knows. You know, and it's really eating her up inside. Maybe in retrospect, not as big as a problem as Rosie's teen pregnancy. So Kate needed to get away from her parents, so she decided to go to outer space. Uh, by some sort of ruined planet with uh, purple and yellow runes all over it. Anyways, she's got to hit it past these lasers, but, you know, she's preoccupied with her parents. She loves them and all, but she's so upset with them, and why, would, why do they have to fight all the time? That's what she wants to know. Oh, look at that. Good shot, Kate. See? She's a star student, so, you know, she puts her mind to something and she accomplishes it, regardless of, of what is bothering her in her in her personal life. But, uh, the other thing is, yeah, like, the prom's coming up, and Joe, Joe hasn't asked her yet, and she's really starting to get worried that he may ask Rosie or something. But, uh, you know, as we know, that's not gonna happen. Joe's gonna ask her. It's gonna brighten up her day. And, you know, maybe let her forget about her parents for a night as she goes and wears her fancy dresses and uh, eats food and dances the night away with her dream boy, Joe. Anyway, while I'm playing pinball, uh, I had fun with this game. I'll never ever pick it up again. Uh, it's ten dollars on Steam right now. I got it on sale for five during an Activision sale. Uh, my a friend of the show actually, Goatsu, bought it for me uh, to try it out because she was like, "Hey, you haven't made a cheap date in a while. Now it's time." So here I am making this. Uh, it's gonna sit in my library for the next fifty years. I'm probably never ever gonna pick it up again. Maybe with my daughter to play some uh, co-op, local co-op if she wants, but uh, boy oh boy, I would never play this in a hundred years. The physics are horrible, there's some creative uh, holes like this pinball hole, but overall, you know, it's mini golf. Who wants to play mini golf? Just go play mini golf. What do you need a computer game for? Uh, on a scale of one to five, one to five dollars, I give this a uh, one dollar. I'd pay one dollar for this, just for the mere, oh, mere fact that I would uh, maybe play with my daughter. Uh, so that, that's it. Thanks for watching Cheap Date. We'll see you guys next time.